Here is another here is another ovarian tumor. In the northeast you can see this is the whole slice of the tumor and this little square over here is our section in question. I don't want to show you the gross specimen and I don't want to go to other areas because there's something very confusing about this slide and I'd rather not introduce that. Notice that the cells of this tumor may remind you <clears throat> of other types of cells that you may remember from the ovary. Do you remember that when the follicles develop you have an abundant amount of granulosa cells which form the internal contents of the developing follicles. They secrete estrogen and likewise the inner layer of thecal cells surrounding these in the follicles also secrete estrogen. That's why granulosa cell tumors and thecal tumors may often be what we call functional or endocrinologically active secreting estrogen. I think I can possibly convince you quickly that even though these cells don't look terribly malignant, they are terribly invasive. You could see some here but between fibrous tissue. You can see they evoke a fibrous response. And you can see there's probably a mitosis here, maybe an abnormal mitosis here, probably a mitosis here. This is a malignant tumor. It could still be functional. And it's more likely to be functional if it was benign rather than malignant because tumors which are differentiated enough to do what they're supposed to do, in other words, make the products like hormones that they're supposed to make, are less likely to behave nasty like lesser differentiated structures. Tumors, I'm sorry. Let's go to the other piece of tissue in this case. And this is from the same patient. And now that we have seen the granulosa cell tumor in the ovary, which this was making estrogen, and it looks like it might make estrogen because they looked like granulosa cells normally. Let's take a look at another part of the body, the uterus. If the granulosa cell tumor was making increased estrogen, it might explain why the endometrium on the inside of this uterus was so proliferated is because it was under the control of this estrogen and it has now become hyperplastic. So endometrial glands here are proliferated. Some of them are large. Uh, some of them almost take on a papillary type configuration. This is hyperplastic endometrium secondary to the hyperestrogenism of a functional granulosa cell tumor. Thank you very much.